speaker number two is Raj. As we've heard, he coordinated the Diwali party on November 9th at Synaptic, one of our largest Diwali parties. It was part of his high performance leadership project, which spanned a number of weeks. And he had team members helping him, tremendous amount of work. He learned a lot. Let's hear from Raj exactly what he learned from organizing the Diwali party. Can leadership be taught? If you answer yes, then Harold Janine will disagree with you. He said, leadership cannot really be taught. It can only be learned. I agree with him. So I took the opportunity to learn more about leadership by volunteering to be the chief organizer of the Synaptics Diwali Party 2012. Connecting this opportunity to HPL gave me a process to learn leadership. This process also involved receiving wonderful feedback from my HPL guidance committee members. Hari Sangvi, Narayan Vijayshankar, Mike McCreevy, and Rita Barber. And I'm eternally thankful to all of them. To begin with, the HPL manual asked me to write down my vision. I thought, I want to organize a party where everyone can have a good time. What is that to write down as vision? But then, when I submitted myself to thinking more deeply, words started flowing from my pen, and I had filled a whole page within a few minutes. I then had to condense my vision into a mission statement, and I saw that clearly. I wanted to organize a Diwali party which embodies unity in diversity in all respects, including enchanting milieu, tasty and distinctive food, and energetic entertainment, so that everyone can appreciate the rich culture and heritage Indian subcontinent is known for. I then formed my core team, Sandeep and Anand for food, Arshana and Narain for entertainment, Naeem for PR, and Amir for decoration. After I gave the vision speech to them, they felt intimidated. They thought I was aiming too high. I was shooting for the moon. But then I told them to take it as a challenge. And to their credit, they did. Sandeep's challenge was to find a restaurant which offered food from different regions of the Indian subcontinent. He succeeded in finding not one, but two restaurants, Madhuban and Sakoon. We chose Sakoon, but then Sandeep left on a long vacation, and he alone knew the final menu. So Anand had the unenviable task of decreasing the food cost without even knowing the menu. He succeeding in that task can only be termed as magic. <laughs> we went into the final week with the menu still hanging in the balance. But Sandeep's return from vacation resolved it. Then Anand and where is Aaron? Aaron quickly stepped in to churn out the food placards. Decoration chair, Amir, faced his share of adversities. But he had the right skills and attitude to tackle them. His meticulous planning showed the source and the placement of all the decoration items. He also showed his creative side when he used our company's professional flashes to set up a photo studio at the party. Madhuban had offered free decoration items, but choosing Sakoon for food made his task difficult. To compound his problem, the first decorator that he used or he worked with, was not cooperating well. 10 days before the party, he found another co decorator who cooperated better. In the end, even with the low budget, he had managed to get a lot of exotic de decoration items. The tandem team of Archana and Narain managed the entertainment show. Archana, in a moment of brilliance, came up with the idea of fashion show. 
I was not sure if she would get the participants. But boy, did she prove me wrong. Within one week, she had lined up 17 participants, and I was begging her to decrease that number. Narain frantically searched for a band that could sing in four different musical styles, and he contacted more than 20 bands. Still, no band could satisfy our need. This forced Archana to set plan B in motion, get singers who can sing with karaoke. Her master stroke was getting six kids to sing the Carnatic song. Three weeks into the group dance lessons, we still did not have a dancer. To our relief, Randy stepped in. After that, <laughs> every day, all the dancers practiced hard to get the steps and the coordination right. Naeem handled the PR. He initially sent out the announcement email for the party and also got us the Mahendi artist. But delays in all the other departments meant that he had to do a lot of work in the last two weeks. But even when his work schedule was very busy, he continued to offer his time. He gave all the input to Aaron, who produced a wonderful poster and a beautiful agenda. The persistence of the team in the face of adversities really paid off. When the party happened, what an incredible party it was. The guests entering the party hall were mesmerized by the decoration. The statues, the lamps, the flowers, and the photo studio added immensely to the ambience. People lined up to get mehendi, and they enjoyed the distinctive taste of the different dishes with the food placards showing clearly where each dish is from. The entertainment show clearly conveyed the diverse cultures, and it was a big hit. The fashion show was stupendous, and it set the tone for the rest. Then Archana showed what a great dancer she is. The singers brought excellent versatility, and the kids performing the Carnatic song brought a new dimension to the show. The group dance was fantastic, <laughs> befitting the effort put in by every dancer. Do you want to know what is the best price I received for this party? Someone from India said that he had seen numerous companies sponsored Diwali parties in India, but nothing came close to our party. <laughs> but I spoiled the moment when I used the traditional gong ringing ceremony to appreciate my team members. Forgot to call Naeem. So I take this as a moment to apologize to him and appreciate him for all the work that he did. <laughs> Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other, said John F. Kennedy. Here is what I learned about leadership through this HPL, and I urge you to follow. First, have a clear vision. It helps immensely in rallying your team towards the end goal. Number two, find ways to recognize and appreciate your team members. This will motivate them to do even better. Number three, be an invisible leader. At the beginning of the HPL process, it was about me defining the vision. After that, it was all about the team members. By the time the party happened, my vision had become their vision, and they had realized it. Most important of all, number four, greatness shines in the face of overwhelming adversities. My team showed excellent agility to take any adversity in the stride and walk through. So the next time you face a problem, welcome it with both hands, because problems alone can show you what a great leader you are. Mr. Toastmaster.